example again you can see it's the guitar i'm happy to have you here once again so the purpose of this video have you just recently gotten a guitar and you have been learning all sorts of code but you don't just know how to use them or what i'm trying to say is that you've been going from one channel to another channel learning all chords but you don't just know how to use those chords to play something melodious so this video is for you in the series of the video i'll be doing from now of which this one is the first of it i'll be teaching chords based on their keys in every key there are seven chords or seven notes so because you are learning chords i'll be teaching the chords that goes with one key so that means if you want to play a song all the chords that you need to play that song they are in that very key you are singing the song hope i'm speaking to your understanding if you are singing any song that song has a key except modulation so if you are singing a song you make use of a key and that key has seven chords it's those seven chords that you need to play to that song so i'll be teaching keys based on their chords and we'll be using those chords to sing song so practicing those chords will help you remember them and if you learn the chords according to their key number one thing you won't forget two your finger will get used to the chord theory you will find it easy to transist using the chord while playing a song as a result of consistency and how will i help you i will help you by making videos making use of the chords you have just learned so that means this video i'll be teaching you a chord i will be teaching you a key in that key i'll be teaching you today there are seven chords in that key and you are going to make use of a song if you peradventure don't know the song you can do where to learn the song but i will do where to shoot songs that are sung by popular christian musicians so i hope you've gotten all we want this all what this video is concerning so if it concerns you can you please let's dive in to learn today the key we'll be learning today is key f why i'm using key f is that most pop classical musician likes to use key f if you find it hard to sing on high pitch people tends to use key f what are the chords that key f the first is f itself the second is g minor the third is a minor the fourth is b flat the, the fifth is c the sixth is d minor and the sixth is e diminished otherwise f stands for one do g minor re a minor mi b flat fa c so d minor la e diminished t f do i hope you get that now let's go into learning the chords one after the other don't be afraid because you may need to play bar while playing f but either you are running away from it if you mean it to learn guitar you are still going to learn it why not try to learn it now i pray god will make it easy for you for with god all things are possible when you pray alongside to learn it it will be easy it will be easy it, will, it may be painful but i assure you one day and which is soon you begin to play well yeah so let's dive into the lesson i want to start from key f from the chart beside me you can see that that chart is saying that on the first fret there is a full black key which is saying your number one your index finger will be holding the two first string while my number two finger will go for the third string on the second fret which is g string while my number three will go for the fourth string the d string on fret three so then i play so that is how f sounds like so it sounds like this for you to be able to play it your thumb will not be like this your thumb have to go behind like this so when it's time m you want to play f you just know that your thumb has to bend like this if you want to play g your thumb can come like this if you want to play c your thumb can stay like this. but when it comes to f your thumb needs to go down to support behind it. so that is f so now let's go for g minor g minor you can see from the chart that the first fret is empty the second fret is empty while the third fret there is a bar there is a bar so that is the first fret nothing second fret nothing the third fret there is a bar then you just simply put your number three and your number four here then you strum that is g minor re so what together do re so do you get that so from then let's go to a minor i believe many of you must know how to play a minor if you've been learning many chords before a minor you can see from the chart here the first fret your number one which your index will be on the second fret this the second string b string 
first fret and um, your number three and four will be on the G string and the D string which is on the second fret so all together all together Do. So let's go to B flat. We can see from the chart, the chart is saying that the first fret, your index will be there. Why the second fret, nothing is there. Why the third fret, three fingers will be there. That is finger two, three, four will be there. So you see, if you're having a short finger, it will be very hard for you to do that. But you can just simply put your index on the last string here while your other fingers come like this. Mm, five. So of all the chords on key F, this one is important for you to know. It might be slow, but it's good. So if you are finding it hard to put your finger here, you can just put this three finger here and just play. But ensure that you don't play the last string, which is the E string. You can just play like this. But if you want to try everything, you put your in, your index finger. I hope we are finding it easy. So all together from F now. Do, re, mi. So now let's go to so. So will be C, which is very simple. I know you must have known that. So C, from the chart, the first fret, your finger is on the second string, first fret, second string, first fret, your second finger will be on the third, on the uh, fourth string, second fret, your second finger will be on the third string, second fret, while your third finger will be on the fifth string third fret dance like this mm. you can be surprised you can see some plain c like this so but for this purpose let's learn it like this so now all together from f f, f g minor a minor b flat and c Let's play all together from N now to La, which is D minor. You can see from the chart the first fret, your first finger will be on the first string, first fret, first fret, first string, your index. Your second finger will be on the third string, second fret, and your third finger will be on the second string, third fret. And it sounds like this. La. So let's go. Do, do. Let's go. Do. Re, mi, fa, fa, so, so, la. So we want to go to T, which is diminish. I oftentimes don't use diminish. Even if I teach you song now, I may not use the diminish. But for the purpose of this video, let's use it. From the chart, you will realize that the chart is saying the first fret is on the third from the chart you see three that three is saying that the first fret is not a neck but rather is from the third fret one two three so from the third fret you can see that your number one will be on the third string which is g string g string while your second finger oh you can see that the next you can see is an empty an empty fret the, the fourth fret is empty so your second finger will be on the fifth fret which is the fourth string fifth fret and why your number three finger will be on the second string fifth fret and your finger your pinky your fourth finger will be on the on the sixth fret first string and to sound like this so from the beginning now from f let's go Do. Re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, to do. So if you are able to learn that, then you can pause this video, learn that before we go into practicing or song. So by now, have you learned all the chords? If you have learned all the chords, let me ask you this question. What is Do? Good, Fa. What is T? E diminish. What is La? 
fan what is so fan c so okay now if you're able to do that so let's apply what you learned to sing a song the song is yeshua amashia so let's apply to learn a song yeshua amashia so the chord progression let me call it it starts but it will be uh, b flat f d uh, uh, d minor d minor g minor d minor c d minor so that's the progression of the song so i will play it very slow and we'll see and let's take it very slow to so you brain sharp don't mind as we take it very slow let's take it slow because of those that are just learning those chord it's very difficult to transist but just keep it up the melody will be giving you the passion the melody is the passion ensure you are playing it go at your own pace but ensure that the tone you are playing is the same with what you are singing don't play on f and be singing on key i no so sing on key f and play on key f so to ensure that play f first do so c do f c do re mi fa so la ti do let's go into the song starting from b flat so the first is b flat the second is f major the fourth third is d minor d minor so don't forget that are you ready to go Oh Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Agunishela, Yeshua, Amashia. So sing it, play it. With that, with that, you are getting the graduate. The melody is the passion. Even if it requires you going like this, Yeshu. Ah, no problem. I started like that too. Yeshu. Ah, ah, mashi. Lion of Judah, Agunishema. You know it's the same chord. Yeshu. Ah, you can go like that. But just ensure that your tongue is behind. Your tongue is not standing like this. It's behind. If it is standing like this, it's very difficult to play. Gradually, gradually, you are getting it. You are getting it. So the melody is the is the push. When you have the melody, you are you keep on playing. Your hands may feel pain. Continue, continue. From pain, beauty comes. So I hope you have learned a lot today. So expect uh, another simple chord. Uh, the video I'll be doing next will be I'll be using a simple chord that you know where maybe key G or I may decide to go other using key E or the chords there. So see you another time. Thank you for watching and please do it to like and subscribe by that you are helping me in this channel and may God help you as you help me in Jesus' name. Amen. See you another time. Bye.